In Connemara, and indeed all over County Galway, tinkers live in camps and in caravans like this, surrounded by dry stone walls with little shelter in a, a bare landscape. In the spring and summer, a caravan can be comfortable enough, but in winter it can be hard for the travelling people. Galway County Council has long-term plans to house its tinker population, the biggest in the country. Galway City itself has so far been singularly unsuccessful in doing much about its tinker problem, but the county, as distinct from the city, seems to be perhaps more progressive or at least more tolerant. And before this year is out, eight Galway travelling families will move in here into these small houses in the county's first permanent settlement for tinkers. To call it permanent is perhaps to give a wrong impression. Ultimately, the council hopes to solve its problem by settling the travellers in proper houses. But as a first step, they are providing these solid buildings on a site a mile west of Loch Ray. This will at least give the travellers from this particular area a solid base, a place off the side of the road with grazing for their animals, hard standings for their caravans and room to store their scrap. They'll have water and light and heat, a communal wash house and lavatory building. They'll have proper shelter and, most important, a place to stay, a place to which they can belong. A settlement like this has worked out well in Labray Park in Dublin, and in spite of last year's events in Galway City, there seems no reason at all why it shouldn't work just as well here outside Loch Ray. The cost to Galway County Council, something under £9,000. How the council will choose the tenants for these houses hasn't finally been worked out yet, but almost certainly one of those tenants will be Larry Ward, leader, or king if you like, of the Ward faction of the travelling people, a man who inherited the title king from his father 25 years ago, and one who was born and has spent most of his life in this small area of County Galway. Larry, when are you likely to move in, do you think? We expect to, well, in October anyway, so. Well, what, God. Yes. What, what do you think of moving into a house now, living in a house? I think it's a very good article. Why? Well, I mean, it is good for our families and good for ourselves and children can get schooling. But will it not restrict you in this way? Will it not mean that uh, you won't be able to travel around as much as you used to? Oh, no, we won't expect to travel around. We won't travel, give up travelling in our together. And what do your wives and families think of, of living in a house? I think it's very good. But will you be less free, do you think, than you used to be? Ah, well, we will to a certain degree. I mean, we can go off to visit the friends and things like that, but we needn't store the house afterwards. We can have the house all the time. Do you not think that, that, that some of the people being used to travelling around a lot will get fed up living in a house? I wouldn't think so. I'd say they'd wait there for the, the accommodation to their children. Do you understand me going to school and everything? And it would be great accommodation to them. Should I mean, the road is a thing today is finished. I mean, where can we go? Or where do we go? So we never travel, oh, we never travel 20 miles from Lottery altogether. Except we'd go way down to Sligo on a motor van or Lottery or a thing like that. Your livelihood, of course, has always been around this area. Always around. In fact, you were born in I was this born area. born in this. And you're well known and you know your neighbours. I do, well. well. What's the attitude of the, say, the local farmers around here? Very you? good altogether. I mean, perfect, decent gentlemen altogether. Of any part of the wish, this is the wish part of the whole house. Well, you see, it seems to be rather different in Galway City because there, there seems to be resentment of the travelling people in there. Well, now, I don't know much about the farmers around there city of Galway, do you understand what I mean? Yes. But I do know a lot about them around here, I mean, that are very, very generous altogether and very good to us. Why do you think then that the people in, in Galway City don't get on too well with the travelling people? Well, now, I couldn't answer that question. I couldn't answer that question. But you've never had any trouble? No, 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 no. no. Well, what do you have to do as as the king of the of the ward clan? I should just keep all my own people together and see them right and how do you see them right now? Well, I mean, anything, any disputes has to be settled, I do a lot of it and see that they don't mix in with any strangers, do you understand what I mean? And, and is is there much trouble, say, between the wards, among the among the wards themselves, that you have to settle uh, disputes? Uh, not, a, not a whole lot. I mean, there's, there's not as bad for now, it says people, it's years gone by, do you understand what I mean? 
Are, are your own people now, the younger people, learning to read and write? Yeah, so. Is is the life for the travelling people changed? It's changed altogether. In, in what way, Larry? Well, I mean, for instance, now, a brother of mine has two little lads, one only 11 years of age, and he's able to write his name and he's able to read it, and he's no link going to school only about, well, about 12 months, hardly 12 months. And how do they get on with the local kids? Very good altogether. So that really you feel that if you're settled here, uh, your people have a better chance of settling into the community roundabout. Oh yes, by all means. I mean, even now we, I mean the children is going in there to some of them going into the convent, more than going up to the boys' school, and there's no difficulty with them no more than any other one's child. I and mean, no remarks passed to them, and they mix in with the other children. Uh, and of course, uh, it'll obviously be more healthy for you to live in. Oh, houses. certainly so. Why wouldn't it? I mean, and so it's a great good art together for us. The council is doing for us. So we can never be tired of thanking them.